Scarecrow Festival is like the most important day of the year. That's the beautiful thing about living in... Gazette last week, you would know. I spoke to the vicar myself as well. Oh, I don't care. I find it sad. <laughs> oh, having a picture of your winning scarecrow on the front of a gazette is sad, is it? Didn't think so. So anyway, it's a public voting system and you get designated pictures. So my picture's on the village green this year, which is one of the best pictures. And then uh, you have little forms. So you go around and then you can tick which one you which is your favourite, and then you put it in the box at the end of the day, and the winner gets a hot air balloon ride for two. And I ain't taking you on it. Don't want to go on it anyway. I'm taking my nan. He'll tell you that Scarecrow Festival's all fun and games, but ain't for me. Me at Scarecrow Festival is just asking for trouble because everyone who's anyone's going to be there. And there are people from my past that would love to see me slain. I've got enemies everywhere. I've got enemies in South Cerny. I've got enemies in North Cerny. I've got enemies in Cerny Wick. I've got enemies in Borton on the Water. There's a tea rooms there and under the counter they've got a panic button. And if I take one step inside, they can press that. Please be there in three minutes. Isn't that right? If I'm walking through the village, People in cars actually slam their foot down on the accelerator because they want to get through the village as fast as they can without getting into a confrontation with me. Because if they stop at tra traffic lights, I'll just knock on their window and I'll go, what are you looking at, mate? Daddy! What? Daddy! What? Don't just have to drop the phone in tears! What? Why? Because you didn't send him a vacuum card! For what? I don't go to school anymore! Where the hell is he getting these vouchers from? Because they've discontinued them like 10 years ago. How is that my fault? I don't understand. I cannot win. This is just ridiculous. I don't live here. This is Kerry's house. I live with my nan just round there. Oh shit, slugs, look. Oh, you're joking. Oh, you WhatsApp me as well the other day asking us to go laser quest with him and I... What did you say? Well, I clicked on it by accident, didn't I? Oh. So he knows I've seen it. Oh. Say. The thing is, like, he'll just trap you for ages, though, so, and he'll never leave. Like, I should feel sorry for him because he's got terminal cancer, but he's so utterly annoying. It's like, if you want to have a bucket list, that's fine, but don't just drag, drag us, us into, into it, it, do you know what I mean? Oh. It's all right, he's going the other way. He's going the other way. So it's about 50 quid ahead. That includes two sessions on Laser Quest and a minibus there and back. But I am going to need the deposit now. Oh, I just. Hello? Oh, your mum's yeah. shouting. Just come in now. Yeah. Have a real. Cheers, hope you enjoy mate. Yourself. Cheers, though, mate. Thanks yeah. for thinking of us. See you later. That's where you get the scarecrow maps from. Plant store over there. Don't buy anything from there because they'll die in a week anyway. That is a sign of a very lazy scarecrow maker. And I tell you why. Because you can't be bothered to form the hands. That's a pet hate of mine. Technically not a scarecrow because there's no hay on it. Not a drop of hay inside. It's just a rag on a stick. I mean, I get it, but it's not making me feel nothing. Look at this. This, this is a monstrosity. That, I mean, I, I think, I know, I know this is Lens as well. I mean, he's a good scarecrow maker, but he's embarrassed himself this year with that. I'm, I mean, I'm laughing, but for all the wrong reasons. All right, Len. All right. What do you reckon? Pretty good, yeah. Take that grin off your face. You're grinning. Don't grin. I'm not grinning, Len. <laughs> I, I think it's great, mate, honestly. Go. I reckon I've got a chance this year. OK. You believe whatever you want to believe, that's fine. Well, I do believe, all right? Yeah, that's right, whatever. Len, I'm not going to get in a fight with you today, all right? All right. 
I tell you why I'm going to win this year, because I've got the best scarecrow and I've got the best pitch in the village, because my pitch is in the centre of the festival. Nathan Daniels had that pitch last year and he won. And honestly, his scarecrow was the biggest part of shit I've ever seen. It was meant to be beautiful juice, yeah, but fuck me, did it look like Kerry. Next <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Hang on. Okay, what's going on? Excuse me, this is my pitch. Exterminate. Exterminate. <laughs> yeah, very funny. Don't make me move it myself, please, mate. Exterminate. Mate, can you be serious? This is my pitch, yeah? If you don't understand, Vicar. Okay? He's on my pitch, yeah? The pitch I booked three months ago with Mrs Wicks. Well, there must be some kind of mix-up, because according to this sheet, your pitch is on Trowley Bottom Farm. <laughs> That's bullshit! Less of BFing and Jeffing. Sorry for swearing, but that is fucking bullshit. Why would I choose Trowley Bottom Farm when, A, no punters can be bothered to walk all the way down there, and, B, it stinks of pig shit because it's on a fucking pig farm? I'm sorry for swearing, but this is fucked up! Curtin, this is your last warning on the swearing. I'm really sorry, but it's too late to change anything now. No. Your pitch is on Trowley Bottom Farm. No, absolutely not. No way. There's no chance I am going to Trowley Bottom Farm. That's the end of it. I ain't talking about it no more, Vicar. How am I going to get any votes being down here? It's baffling. I'm baffled by the entire situation, if I'm honest. Badly organised by the vicar. Major fuck up. Curtin can get very competitive. Like, we had to do the sponsored swim at school, and he was just obsessed with raising the most money for it. So he actually stole our nan's bank card and withdrew 500 quid, which meant that she couldn't get her teeth done. Well? What? D did you tell people to come down? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? The thing is, though, oh, it's buzzing up there. It really is buzzing. Oh, it's right, that yeah. dialect, though. Yeah. It is brilliant. It's yeah, just so... Yeah, he's brilliant. Look, it's fair. so funny, bro. Yeah. I had a picture taken with yeah. me. Yeah. If you keep just scroll, take that and just oh, scroll to the left. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, that's a great it's one. Brilliant. That's another good one. I love it. I love them all. That, yeah. that one especially. Brilliant! What the actual fuck? What the actual fuck? You have fucking lost your head, mate. You have lost your fucking head. I swear to God, if my phone is smashed, you are paying for that. Dickhead. <sighs> Listen to this. Kerry and Curtin lunchtime detention for making Robert Robinson ask a teacher what women is. He's Rob Robinson. You don't remember Robert Robinson? No. He was in our class in year six for like two terms and he just vanished. No one ever heard of him again. He had, instead of a rucksack, yeah, he had a suitcase on wheels and you, would, you started his nickname, which was Terminal Free. You started that. That was brilliant. You don't remember that? Robert Robinson. You don't remember. Year six camping trip, he bought in an old army camp bed and it had blood on it. No. We used to bog wash him so much the bleach in the toilet actually turned his hair white. No. Oh my God. But he had about three unruly deaf brothers, yeah? And he used to get picked up after school in a dirty old Land Rover full of flailing arms. No. You don't remember that? No. He used to write everything out in that uh, calculator font because he thought it was really cool. No. We made him eat a fucking bark sandwich, for fuck's sake. No. You don't remember that? No. Nothing? Nothing. Fuck! Right, I'm gonna get slugs over. He was in our class, he'll remember. Please don't yes, get slugs over, he'll never leave. Me and Curtin have known slugs at school, and I've never met anyone who outstays their welcome more than him. Like, you'll say, sorry slugs, I can't stop a chat, I've got to go have my dinner. And he'll go, what are we having? Robert Robinson, yeah? He had a fat woman's ass and tiny, short little legs like a troll. Yeah, are you sure you're not talking about slugs? Positive. He genuinely looked like a moomin. Yeah, so did slugs. I know, but it ain't slugs. His school jumper, yeah, was the most faded out of everyone's. He used to chew his sleeves to just threads. No. Oh. He bought in a bit of meteorite once, yeah, for show and tell, and Darren Lacey called him Apollo 13. No. Oh, my God. 
he was obsessed with salamanders, yeah? And we saw him at the school fete and he was carrying around a little bank bag full of coppers and his face was painted like a salamander and he was hissing at dogs. How do you not remember Robert fucking Robinson? Oh my God, there's this website that allows you to watch a loaf of bread slowly going stale. Fucking hell, man. Stop it. What's it called? A loaf of bread cam. Seriously? He's not on Facebook. How can he not be on Facebook? Everyone's on Facebook. That doesn't make any sense. Maybe he changed his name because he got married. Oh, maybe he's not on Facebook because he doesn't exist. What about that tea towel? Where is it? This is it. I got it. I got it. This is it. There! That's him! Let me He's see. here! Rob Robinson! I got it! You see, right there. Rob Robinson. And that was him. And I was... I, I knew it, didn't I? And that looks like him as well. That looks exactly like him. Thanks again so much, this man. Honestly, I can't believe it. So, do you know what you want, then? Oh, I just can't decide at the moment. Why don't you have a look through one of these books, then? Oh, Choose something from there. Cheers, man. So, what's that one? That's a pig. Alright. So, who's that? That's Friends. And that one? Harry Styles. Tasmanian. That's Justin Bieber. Fred Flintstone. Spock. Stig of the Dump. Alright. Who's it, these? Me. Oh. Right. They were really good. I know. Who's that one? Um, that's Grant from EastEnders, but also it could be um, that bloke off MasterChef. Oh, right. If you put glasses on it. Do you know what? I think I'm going to have to just... go home and just have a think about it. Why? Because, well, they're just so good, I can't choose which one. So you're wasting my time? Cos I've got the whole afternoon off of this and I'm giving you one for free. No, you're I... You're taking a piss, aren't you? I do really want one. It's just, I... I do, yeah, I do really want one, yeah. What? I just don't know which one to have yet. That's the only thing. Do you do, like, really small ones? Like, I literally just want it, like, a K? I don't do small ones. I only do massive ones. Right. You wanted one. Yeah. Do you know what? I am gonna go home and think about it, Mand. Mand. Mandy. Mandy. Brilliant. She's dead. Nah, no, she's sleeping. Oh, what the fuck? What, with her eyes open? Yeah, my nan does it. It's like a weird condition or something. <laughs> Look, watch this. Mandy? Your tattoos are shit. Oi. That's the whole day away. She's sleep talking. Oh. Fuck this. I'm getting out of it. Oh, yes. Turkey dinosaur. Is it all right if I have some, Kat? Yeah, if you give me a bit of your pizza. That's that's not a fair swap. Well, I don't have any more turkey dinosaurs then. Yeah, but I'm the guest. Guest? So You're here more than I am, mate, and it's my fucking oven. Whoa, right. whoa, what are you doing? You're letting the heat out, you lummock. No, I'm going to take your pizza off and put it on the bottom shelf. What are you doing, you big old? Mine takes longer to cook, Curtin. No. That is just the way of the law. Yeah, but my pizza, yeah, has to be top shelf, otherwise it won't cook easily. Well, OK, here we go. Here's something for you. Why don't you give me some of your crusts? And then I'll let you have top shelf. No. 
Here we go. This might be going to be my best offer. Right. Because both of us want top shelf. I suggest what we do is cut the pizza in half. We can't do that, no, sorry. Why? Because I eat my pizza from the inside out, right? If you cut it in half, yeah, there's no inside to eat it out from. I don't use the basic size system, care, which is why I get so fussy at Pizza Hut. Why are you crying? I'm not crying, I'm just so hungry. I'm really sorry, Curtin, but at the end of the day, it is my oven, so I am going to have top shelf. Just don't cut my pizza in half, please. I won't. Shut up. It's just a pizza, Curtin. Curtin gets very emotional, but that's just what we're like in this family. One of my first memories of Nugget is we all go around Nan's for Christmas Day, and she was about to get the spread on, and he was like, Uncle Nugget was like, no, I want to watch Chicken Run because I've been waiting for this to come out for a year because he loves Ardman animations. And she was like, no, we're all going to sit round the table, and we're going to eat the Christmas lunch. So he absolutely kicked off. He, he said, well, why can't I just watch it sat on my lap? and eat my, food, eat my food on my lap. And she was like, no, she's having none of it. So he stormed in, he punched Ola in the turkey. He got iced out as a sniggering at this point. So he just got, he literally got a ladle of bread sauce and f like threw it across, the, across at me. It became a bit of a, of a joke in the family because the next year we brought him Chicken Run on DVD and we thought he was all gonna laugh. We, he was gonna absolutely love it and laugh, but he really did not find it funny at all. So I told him about why he's called Nugget? He can, but it's a bit boring. No, oh right, Uncle Nugget, yeah, he's called Nugget because he went in this nightclub and the DJ wouldn't play this song he requested, so he got a knife, yeah, cut off half a DJ scratching thumb, flew it on, threw it on the floor, and some bloke came along who's just fucked out his brains, picked it up and ate it because he thought it was a chicken nugget. He's called Nugget because his second name's Nuggins. Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. I think that's still part of... Curtin went for a very bad lying face. Yeah, I did, yeah. That's the thing, I lied so much, I still don't know what's real life and what's just plain lies. Mm. I'm so glad you're out that lying face. God care. I watched the most fucked up thing last night. What? It was this real life documentary, yeah, about this NASA experiment, yeah, yeah, where he sent this monkey into space in its own spacecraft. But when it hit a certain altitude, the monkey's head just exploded like a grape. So they sent this other monkey into space yeah. in its own spacecraft, and they sorted the altitude problem out. But because the scientists were so obsessed with doing that, they totally forgot to teach the monkey how to navigate its craft. So it just got lost in space for all time. Which I think is far worse, to be fair. Well, go to sleep then, Sue, rather than shouting down here the whole time, you stupid old bat! Gary, could you come up there, please? Oh, well done. Oh. Yeah? Me and Kerry's mum do not see eye to eye. We've had some proper stand-up blazing rows. Actually, just me stand up. She's always in bed. See, I live with my nan, and we like things in a certain way. We like to know where everything is. But Kerry and her mum, they're just like two pigs rolling around in their own muck. Mum said you've got to leave. What? Why? Because you called her an old bat. She is an old bat. I've got to leave now. Yeah, I heard her. Bye, Sue! Why is that little rat coming here eating all his food? Purple Nassidy Bob! How do you know we are? I'm still here! I know! If you want to have a laugh but also be physically sick, just watch Kerry's mum put her sandals on. It's disgusting. They're like two, her feet are like two blocks of spam, yeah? And watching her try and squeeze them into her broken stocks is just... <sighs> Get your mum to say tomato. Oh, no, no, oh, no. please. Oh. Please. Mum! What? What's in the BLT? In the what? A BLT?
I can't stop thinking about that monkey. Yeah, same. Hello, madam. Me and my colleague here for Return of Vitality. Right. I'm going to piss in their flowers in. No, then. come on. What are you two after? Hello, sir. Me and my colleague here from Eternal Vitality Juicing, a company that offers a wide range of health boosting juices, and just wondered if we could borrow a few minutes of your time. Yeah, I've got a few minutes. Eternal Vitality Juices slowly release vitamins throughout your body all day, giving you extra energy. And then my wife died on the Thursday. Oh, and my brother died on the Saturday. And then my stepson rang me up and he said, Dad, I found a lump. So that was him gone. Grandson dead, stepdaughter dead, and that bastard only got three years and a slap on her wrist. Oh, OK, well, thank you so much for your time, and we're really sorry that and Then we they rung up from the hospital and they said, could you get down here now? Because they're draining the fluid out your sister's spine. Heart disease, he said. And I never smoked a single fag in my life. Curtain. And the doctor, he just shrugged at me like this, look. Hey, like this. Yeah. He just shrugged. So, are you going to actually buy something today? Hey? Are you going to buy something today? God, no. OK. Thank you very much for your time. It's all right. Enjoyed it. See ya. Bye. So, I've let Curtin take the lead on this one because basically he's just not engaging enough. And he needs to build up his confidence because, honestly, I'd be better off carrying around a sad sack of shite with me. How long do you reckon he's been in there for? Must be like 20 minutes. I reckon he's selling loads. Hello? Hello? Hello, Curtin? Do you need any more stock? Four, Curtin? Five, six. Oh, I forgot yours outside. Utterly unprofessional. Seriously. It's your guy, innit? Yeah, yeah. My guide to managing a team is pretty simple, really. Make the underlings feel like shit because you're the big boss. Take up the space. It's like a bull in a field. There can't be too many bulls because they'll ruin it. Look, if you don't want to be involved in this business, then seriously, just don't be involved. Is that right? The fuck, Curtin? Seriously, I thought we were doing this together. It's just, the thing is, OK, it's just so much effort. Yeah, cos you're not pulling your weight, to be honest. That's why it's so much effort. It's actually more effort for me. But... And we're in a business meeting. Why do you think it's OK to get your phone out? Who is that? No one. Well, they said that's so funny, then. Huh? You wouldn't get it. I would get it. You wouldn't. I would get it. All right, then, he said, that awkward moment when an awkward asks you for a clack handle. <sighs> you don't get it, do you? Right, I want these delivered to every house in the village tonight. I mean it. And stop with the attitude as well. The thing is, I don't know what you actually do. Business. Oh, my God, did you see the look on the vicar's face then? <laughs> he was livid, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was livid. That was madness, man. That was... He was fuming. When I see them three together, oh, I think we could have another Columbine on our hands. And that's very scary. Look at the clouds. Look how mad they are. They're crazy. Don't you just think sometimes, you look at the clouds, you just think... Sometimes you just look at the sky and you think how insignificant that all is. Mm. Yeah, do this. Your hands like that. Yeah, open them up, look inside. That's what they actually look like. Yeah. Look at this stupid bloke here, look at him. Look how stupid he is.
Chucky saw that. He's coming out. He's coming, he's coming. Yeah, he's not coming. Oh, he was gonna though. He was livid, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Yeah, I was supposed to be delivering leaflets to Kerry, but fuck it. I ain't running around for her like a blue ass fly no more. And anyway, she's promoted Levi above me now, and he's only 10. And he can't sleep without a nightlight. So how'd it go last night? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, delivered all the leaflets around all the houses. Even went down Charlie Bottom Farm, which was quite a trek, but I don't mind. Um, yeah, it's, it's actually quite surprising how many houses are in this village as well. But no, it's great, all in all. Levi, get them pictures up on your phone. 500 leaflets just dumped in the stream. Have you been here all night? Yeah. You really need to go home. Your mum's called the police and everything. Are you serious? Yeah. OK, go home now, but if anyone asks you fell asleep by accident, OK? Go home now. <sighs> what was he doing here all night? Filing. Do you think I'm going to get in trouble? Are those debt letters? No. And you're fired, by the way. What? And you're also fired from being my best mate, by the way. <laughs> well, I have new mates anyway, by the way. Well, what? The nerds? No, they're not nerds. They have names like human beings, actually. Oh, yeah? What are their names, then? Count Fartula and Weak Nathan. Sorry, I couldn't quite hear that. Count Fartula and Weak Nathan. They're honestly not nerds, though. They're just my mates. They look up to me. Well, what? So that makes you king of the nerds. Do you know what, yeah? You're just a bully <laughs> and you've been conned in some shitty little pyramid scheme. Yeah, it's a multi-level management scheme, so get it right. And the juice tastes like ass. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Drink some now, then. No, because I'm not thirsty, so what's the point? <sighs> That's because you know it tastes like ass. No. It is. Drink it some now. If you believe in this business so much, yeah, you drink some. I don't mind drinking it. It doesn't bother me. Excellent. Now have some now. Swallow. Tastes like ass, doesn't it? <sighs> That's all I wanted. I'll see you later. Embarrassment, you know. <sighs> In business, there will always be setbacks. I don't drink my own juice. Frey Bentos doesn't eat his own pies. But that's business. So I've just been to my dad's, but he wasn't there because his girlfriend Sandra kicked him out and he's living in a caravan at the moment. I'm just going to be there for him no matter what, just like he's been there for me. Even though that has been hard for him to be there for me, to be fair, because he has darts on a Wednesday and skittles on a Thursday. And the weekends are right off because he likes his me time. I needed the toilet, right? I was desperate because I'd had four pints down the keepers. Yeah. So I went in the bushes by the ladies' tennis club and some meddling old tar only goes and calls the police and said, I'm peeping on her. And I was aroused. I went aroused, just well endowed. Yeah. You can't shoot a man for being well endowed, care. No. Now they're pressing charges. Sandra's kicked me out. The darts team don't want to know. I went in the pub yesterday, they all turned their back on me. Even Alan. Even Alan? Well, I've some bloody tatters, care. Absolute tatters. I'm in this bloody caravan without a pot to piss in. It's just malicious lies, that's all it is. They're jealous of what God gave me downstairs. Yeah. And now i got nothing left. You got me, Dad? Nothing left. I peeped once in 78 and I didn't like it. I didn't like it one slice. No. And I vowed myself to never peep again. Yeah. Well, tell a lie, I peeped just once more, just to make sure I didn't like it. That was in 89, and I didn't like it that time, neither. Mm. I mean, I'm a milkman by trade care. Don't you think I've got better things to do? It's all right, Dad, the truth has to out. No, it don't care. The next thing you know, you'll get a call from the police who say they've got CCTV footage that absolutely nails you and your DNA all over a tennis racket cover. 
I'm sorry, Care, but it's an absolute stitch up. So right, I look after you, Dad. <laughs> Oi! Ah, leave it, Care. Leave it. It's only Alan. <sighs> Bloody Alan. Fucking little snake. So basically, Slogs is going to have his date with Kaylee just before my date with her, which actually works in my favour because he'll be setting the bar very, very low. And by the time I get there, I'll be like knight in shining an armour and she'll be like the damsel in distress and she'll just come running into my arms. And if I have to, I will punch him just to make sure Kaylee knows she's safe. But that'll be easy because it'll be like punching a turkey or any other flightless bird. That's sweet, isn't it? That reminds me of Kaylee because it looks so cute. Oh, here he comes, slivering in, snake in the grass. The thing is with Kaylee, yeah, is that she's got to accept our damaged goods and we will have to take it slow, but Time does heal even the most cruelest of hearts. I'm not saying I've got a cruel heart, but if she ain't willing to take me as I am, rather than the monster I've become, then she can literally just jog on back to the sea with all the other fish, because I don't care. God, you still haven't made your mind up. Jeez. It's just a date, mate. It's, that's all it is. You're not meeting the queen. Me and Katie, we like Beauty and the Beast, yeah? And I'm like the beast, because the beast has got massive trust issues with being fucked over massive in the past, yeah? And, and Slugs is like, Gaston. No, he's worse than Gaston. He's like Gaston's fat, horrible little sidekick that follows him around everywhere. The key to dating, yeah, is the two R's and the three T's. Respect, rapport, and talking, talking, talking. Don't ever let that ball hit the ground. Good relationships are built on great conversation. Pastor right, in. time's up. Fuck off. On a date, you've got to tell them all the interesting stuff about you because that's what they'll be interested in. I don't smoke, I vape. I said I don't smoke, I vape. I went to this vaping exhibition with my cousin Kerry at the NEC and there was about 10,000 of us just vaping. Yeah, I was on the bus the other day, yeah, and I was sitting on the back of the bus and the bus driver suddenly stopped the bus, yeah, and goes, and he walks all the way down and goes to me, you can't smoke on here. Guess what I was doing? Vaping. Vaping, yeah. Yeah, that's him. That's good, good girl, yeah. That's good. All right then. That's it, back her up, back her up. Easy with her. That's it, she's fighting. Fighting. Come on. That's it. She's fighting. Keep going. Easy on the clutch, though. Easy on the clutch. Get that right, yeah? The timing there. What sort of dog do you reckon that is? He said to me, he goes, you can't smoke on here. I said, I'm I'm not smoking, I'm vaping. Look on his face when I said that. I don't think he knew, knew what vaping, what a vape is. Thank you, it's a Labrador. Look at 
but thanks to the vicar helping me in that, I got a place doing a GMVQ in Health and Social Care at Swindon College. And I'm going to be moving there in halls and everything. So, yeah, I'm just basically going to start doing so in my life. I think it's wonderful you want to help people, Curtin. It's amazing I got in, isn't it, Vix? How many people do you reckon applied but didn't get in? I imagine there were a few. I reckon loads, but I got in, didn't I? <laughs> yes, I think it's great, but let's finish filling out these forms, shall we? What do you reckon Carrie will say? Well, I'm sure she'll be over the moon for you. Where do I see myself in five years? Well, me and Curtin will have a flat in the middle of the village and all of our furniture will be inflatable and we'll have a sky box and it will all pay for itself because we're going to use a spare room to breed quails because their eggs are worth fucking shitloads. Okay. Oh, you're not going to believe this. Me and Levi have created this gang called the Dump Gang and we're going to build a den at the dump out of old car parts. And we found this washing machine that we're going to use as a safe. So if you want anything putting in there, you've got to tell me now. Right. What were you talking to the vicar about? Nothing. Well, why wouldn't you let me in earlier? Because we talk about man stuff. I can talk man stuff. Yeah, but not that sort of man stuff. You wouldn't understand. I think I would understand, thanks. What's the massive secret? The vicar's got a problem with his ball bag, all right? So stop going on about it, yeah? What sort of problem? One of them's turned hard like a stone. Now, can you stop with the questions, please? Oh, hello, Kerry. Has he told you yet? Yeah. And what do you think? I don't really know what you want me to say, to be honest. Well, I'll give you two some more time to let it sink in, shall I? Why is he so proud about it? I don't know, no, come on. I, w I wouldn't be shouting that. Yeah, I, I am going to tell Kerry, and soon, because apparently words getting around, but I just got to try and find the right moment. You know, I want to do it in my own time. I think it will be tough for Kerry. Uh, a lot of her peers have moved on already, so she's been hanging out with a lot of year sevens. But, of course, when they get to year 11, they move on too, so... Kerry's just found another batch of Year 7s to hang out with until they move on. That's the door. We did that. There's Pork Chop, he's on security. And Bola Laughs, put that up, let me show you. Yeah, so we're going to have that on the door. So you use that as a door knocker. Enough now. And you come through in here. Oh, it's all right. Pork Chop is with me. Just... OK. And, oh, close your eyes. Show my best find, Levi. OK. One, two, three, and open. What are you going to do with them? Smash them on the road, probably, I would have thought. Firstly, Grand Theft Auto 5. We bought that together, so who's going to keep that then? <sighs> well, she can have it during the week and I'll have it at weekends. Does that work for everyone? No, yeah. not for me, because I'm not happy with my half of Grand Theft Auto being passed around some crappy halls, like some pig on market day getting scuffed or lost or stolen, I'm not happy with that. Just have it then. No, I can't have it because it's not rightfully mine. I believe that maybe we'll have to do some sort of changeover through either you or a contact centre. F fine. Uh, OK then. There's another thing as well I just want to say. I've got a POG that I gave to him ages ago. I didn't actually give it, I lent it to him, that I actually need back now. What POG? It's a shiny. I lent it to you ages ago and I really want it returned. Oh, my God. This is baffling. Are you not baffled by this? That was probably at school. I've moved house, yeah, three times since then. I, I, I want you two to be on good say, terms for when Curtin leaves. That's did funny. you see that sort of behaviour that I'm having to put up with? I'm just asking for my pog to be returned before he fucks off and leaves me all on my own with the Grand Theft Auto to look after. I am being very calm. OK, Kerry. Curtin, will you be able to look for Kerry's pog? I can look, but I won't find it. That sort of attitude I've had to put up for 20-odd years. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I had to put up that nagging old bell shaft for 20-odd years. Oh, Come on, YouTube. that's what did another I just thing. Say? I want ownership of the words, bell shaft, wank, corn and ass pirate, because I made them up. I don't want them being banded around the college with him taking ownership of them, because that's not right. Fine, then. I want ownership of the words fuck nut and dick milk. OK, right, Fine. that's enough. Fine. I do want that in writing, though, by the way. I actually can't.
cannot wait to leave this shithole. Yeah, and I actually cannot wait for you to leave this shithole. I had this come through the post and I got a few concerns about it. Firstly, this guy in the front looks really arrogant. Not the sort of guy I was expecting, if I'm honest. Well, the big day is approaching and I can tell Curtin is a little anxious. Uh, this morning we had a few Fs and Jeffs flying around, but that's totally understandable as he's on edge. I ain't joking now, Vicar. This is starting to stress me out a little bit. Look, Curtin, I'm sure the pattern on the carpets in the classrooms aren't going to be a problem. How many times do I have to tell you? Swirls on carpets freak me the fuck out. What if I have an epileptic fit? I am feeling lightheaded just thinking about it. Curtin, I know you're feeling a bit anxious. It's a big step, but it's normal to feel this way. And another thing, I've been looking at the menu in the cafeteria, yeah? I wonder if you could be so kind in telling me what the fuck is pesto? So, as I say, he's a bit on edge, but we've had a good chat and I think he's um, really looking forward to it again now. I don't want to be saying this again. If you want to get into Dump Gang headquarters, use the door. That's what it's for. Yeah, I haven't seen Curtin in a while, but I'm doing all right. I've got a Dump Gang and we're tight as fuck. You know, it's so simple. All you have to do is go knock, knock. Who's there? Slugs. What's the password? Dump gang, can I come in? Yes, you can come in, because you did it correctly. You know? You are right, Kerry? No, I'm not all right. Just people just need to start, you know, treating this place with some respect. Who gave Molehill the Hoover bag hat? He's banned. He went to the toilet in the, in the office. I just, give me that now. Everyone, pork chop, get everyone out, please. Use the door. Use the door. Just... Thank you, Porkchop. Oh, f I just decided to sack off college altogether in the end. Especially now I've got Soph. To be honest, didn't really want to go in the first place, but the vicar was just trying to push me into it. Basically just trying to live his dream through me. And anyway, he's latched onto Kerry now, and he's leeching the life out of her. She can't see how toxic he is. So the trick is to just get the trail in like that. It's been an interesting few months, actually. I've been spending a lot more time with Kerry, which is great. Um, she's come on leaps and bounds with regard to her outlook on life. Oh, who been looking after them runners? They're absolutely fucked. Well, Sorry for swearing. Because I've changed massively since you've been here last. Because I've reformed myself. So I've been hanging out with the vicar and that, and he's sort of taught me the way of the world. Like, how to be kind to others and treat people the way I would want to be treated. This is marvellous. It's lovely, isn't it? Some people will always be scared of me, and I can't change that, no matter how nice I am. But there's a balance to be had between being nice and being feared. Like, Dr Bernardo's, he was just too nice and not feared. So he just got overrun by orphans and everyone just took a piss. Yes! 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 That's what I'm talking oh. about! <laughs> oh, Just well a bit done. less power now. Well, exactly, you got it. If I meet it in the middle, then I'll get there. Yeah. What's this? Oh, all right. I was playing a bit of golf. Why? It's fun. <laughs> that was mental, though, wasn't it? That was very good indeed. Curtin, it's so good to see you. Uh, Vicar, Sophie, Sophie, Vicar. Hi, Sophie, lovely to meet it's you. Lovely to meet you too, so... Vicar. <laughs> so, how are you? Good. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, probably the best I've been in a long time. Look at that! Look at that! Yeah. Well, that's brilliant. I'm, I'm so happy for you both. Curtin's always gone on about you, Vicar. No, is <laughs> <Yeah>. he? <laughs> but you know, Curtin, you can pop in any time to see me for a cup of tea and a catch-up. Don't really like tea. Well, just a catch-up then. Don't really like catching up. It's not my thing. Well, I'm uh, running Secret Cinema Club on Thursday, if you two wanted to come. We're doing Greece. It should be fun. Oh, I love Greece. Oh, so That's do my I. favourite. Yeah, we love to. Oh, would well, you? That would be great. Well, you, you should definitely come. Yeah, we will. Yeah, well, yeah fine. Whatever. Great. All right. Yeah. So we'll nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you, Sophie. That's great. But if you want to pop in before then, Curtin, you know where I am. Yeah. Stick your nose in everyone's business. Oh, but you seem really nice. Yeah. 
Because he's a sociopath, that's what they want you to think. It's all just an act. I just watched this video of this girl doing a random act of kindness on YouTube. She basically paid for this old man shopping at the till. And this old man was like about 90 years old. And he's so fucking old, like you can see through his skin. And he just starts boring his eyes out. He's like, you're fucking joking me. This ain't fucking real life. I just thought, I want to make someone feel like that. Because that's, I re that's yeah. what I would do. What? Yeah. What? As a random act of kindness. As a what? As a random act of kindness. I tell you what would be a random act of kindness. You wiping your ass properly, so I don't have to smoke shite out your knickers every time I do a bloody work. I don't know what she's talking about because I do wipe my ass properly. Okay? I just think I was in denial about a lot of shit, even Soph. And I was taking it out on the vicar, even though it weren't his fault. Thinking about it now, me and Soph just weren't right for each other. Oh, no, I just go around Kerry's house. She really wants me to come over. Yeah, probably be nice hanging out with her again, just us two. Like the old days, really. All right? All right. Hi. All right. What are you doing here? Well, Kara called me. I called her. All oh, right. OK. So, do you want to talk? Because this is just, this is so silly. It is so silly. Yeah, it's just, it is what it is, so, really. So, do you want to go out the side? Give her a kiss. Well, uh, why? What for? Oh, I thought you said you wanted to fix things. I don't remember saying you that. You did. You told me you wanted to fix things. You did. I did, yeah, but with, with a vicar. So you definitely don't want to fix things with her? No. Sorry. Um, yeah. Probably should go now. OK. Yeah. Sorry, can I just get round you? Thanks. I'm so sorry. But is it all right if you leave my house? It's just I only kind of know you through curtain. Is that OK? Yeah? So sorry about that. Oh. See ya. I'm not quite sure what... Cos I must have read that completely wrong there. It's her own fault, actually. Cos she led me down this path. You know. I... She was sort of doing it to me. That's the thing. She was going to me, Oh, you know, you get us back together. It's not really my fault, is it? I think she's just living in dream world. Well, she wanted it to go that way and it just wasn't going to go that way. She even got me thinking that they'd get back together. But that's manipul manipulative people do that. And he's better off without her. Got another letter today. And I think it's the worst of the lot. I'm no closer to finding out who it is either. It's pretty scary because they're coming from my door, which means they probably know where I live. Oh, all right, man. All right, Care. Hey, I just thought I'd let you know. I got the baby Oleg now from a smoke-free home and a pet-free home. 
So the set's complete if you want to come round and have a look at them, because I remember you saying how much you liked the set, didn't you? Oh, yeah, cheers, man. You all right? Yeah. What's the matter with your face? Have you gone off comparing the meerkats.com or what? No, I ain't gone off comparing meerkats.com. I just... Well, you don't know. I've come all the way over here because you said about the baby Oleg and I thought you was interested. Yeah, no, I am. I am really interested in right? the Oleg. What's the matter then? Dear Kerry, I cannot stop fantasising about you. My latest was the best. I'm cleaning out my shed when you come in and tell me you want to sand down a chair leg. So you use my mouth as a vice and tell me I cannot breathe. I breathe involuntarily to stay alive and you punch me in the lungs and tell me how pathetic I am. A sick, sick bastard. I just, I don't know what to do, man. That's all right. I'll help you. We'll find him, yeah? And we're going to fuck him up. You'd be safe with me, Care. Oh, cheers, man. That's all right. That's what I do. Oh dear, oh god. Oh, oh, no. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh dear. Oh god. Oh god. No, no. No. No, that's bad. Just like that. Right. Next load. Just a quick question, Kirsty. Um, yes. Are you going to do it like that every time? I, I shouldn't think so, no. Right. Okay. Look at this. Wow. I never leave the house without a pair of these. Why, you ask? Well, this is why. Good. See that? Pure martial arts. Yeah! Like that. Yeah. Do a defence or you can do a punching. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah, all right, mate. Yeah. yeah. Ah! Uh, yeah. Like Don't worry, I've got me range. I've yeah. got me range. Now, what am I going to do now? Defence or punch? I don't, I don't we know. We don't know. We okay. don't know. It's a punch! Oh! And I can get quite close to you. Yeah! Can you put me on to record? Yes! Yeah! No one of it be cold, Yeah. Yeah. Right. Get your cakes out, your pair of fannies. Go. What have you got today, Dan? Uh, Victoria sponge, mate. Oh, Classic. Oh, lovely. Oh, oh Dan. That's not bad at all. Especially after your Battenberg disaster. Cheers, Mark. Right, Perth, what's your offer today? Well, there she is, in all her glory. Lemon drizzle. What's this? Is that shop bought? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Look, I, I did try and bake one myself. I did, but I just can't do it. I can't bake. <sighs> Listen. No baker gets it right the first time. Nah. That is the beauty of baking. It's trial and error. Do you think Dan could have produced that exquisite Victoria sponge? Yeah without fucking up his Battenberg. No, no way. I mean, even a great Mr. Kipling would admit to fucking up his first couple of bake wells, right? Yeah, I suppose he would. You need to get some more confidence, Kurt. Yeah. yeah. Well, do you know what? I think I'll, be, I'll give it a bloody good go next time. I really will, and I, I can't thank you enough. You know. That's the right attitude. Mm. Yeah. But remember, you've got to do forfeit. Oh, yeah. Mm. Well, what do you mean? Well, you brought in a shop bought, so you've got to do a forfeit, mate. That's the rules. Uh, what forfeit? Uh, slap that drink out of that woman's hand. Yeah, oh, go shit. on, Kirsty, no. that would deem you. No, that's, that's Slugs, I know him. Yeah, but so what? Well, he's just, uh, he's had a really hard time, he's had cancer. Right. You know? Oh, mm -hmm. grow a pair, Kirst. Mm -hmm. He ain't gonna do it, Mark, he's a fanny, isn't no, he? No, I ain't a fanny, I just, I, oh, fuck. 
Hi, Ken. Cool. All right, slugs, mate. All right, mate, how's it going? It's not good. Oh, really? What's wrong? It's really low, mate. Why? Just found out. Kay's been sending messages to other guys on Facebook. Shit. What sort of messages? Sexual, mostly. Oh, God. Oh, so sorry to hear that, mate. Thanks. Uh, she said she doesn't know what she wants. Yeah. I'm going over there now to see if I can work things out. Mm. Well, it will, it will work itself out, mate. There's, it always, yeah. I hope so. She's really fucked in the head, mate. Yeah. Just, I don't know what to do. Yeah. That was good. Oh, nice one, Curtin. Nice one, mate. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Well, Mandy very kindly offered to spend some time at my house for protection and that. She reckons it could be quite serious and it could be very dangerous. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah, the reason I've offered to protect Kerry is because I used to be in exactly the same situation before because I was a stalker for about three or four years. And uh, it's got really bad at one point because they were starring in Jack and the Beanstalk at the Everyman Theatre. I broke into their dressing room and just and I stole all their shoes and that. Police got involved. I thought you were stalked on. No, I was a stalker. Oh. Yeah, because the more I loved them, the more they rejected me. The more they rejected me, the more I wanted to kill them, see? That's just love, I suppose. You ain't signal in here. Huh? You ain't signal in here. Why, who are you calling? Levi. Why? All right, Levi. You never guess where I am. Hospital, yeah. Basically smashed my head to fuck. No, I'm just waiting for an x-ray, but fuck knows what the doctor's going to be able to do. Yeah. It's going to be like gluing a breadstick back together, because... Like, like as if a bre breadstick's been in a blender and it's all the, the pieces mashed up. Yeah. Yeah, spread the word, won't you, yeah? All right. Cheers, mate. Cheers. All right, fries? you never guess who I am. Hospital, yeah? Yeah, I basically just smashed my head to fuck. Yeah, well, I was just waiting for an x-ray, but fuck knows what the doctors are going to be able to do about it. Yeah. Well, it's going to be like gluing back a breadstick after it's been in a blender, isn't it? Yeah. All right, you, you, will you spread the word for me, yeah? All right, cheers, mate. Yeah. See ya. Wait. The trouble with my lifestyle is I pick up a lot of injuries. But I use that to my advantage. Like, this one time I started a fight club in the village hall and I got a black eye from beating myself up. But it made my enemies think, fuck, if she can do that to herself, what the fuck can she do to me? It's an absolute nightmare. There's literally no parking spaces. I've been driving around for the last 20 minutes. I had to leave in a disabled parking bay. Um, have you, uh, have you been seen yet? No. Have they asked you any questions? Oh, chill out. I'm not going to rat you out for not having any insurance. Shh, 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 shh. Right, right, right. OK, I'm going to move the car back in a sec. His asshole's like that. Yeah, it is. All right, big job. Yeah, you never guess where I am. Hospital. Oh, you heard? Yeah, I just absolutely smashed my head to oh, fuck. Oh, fuck off. Well, 
I don't know. I think I've, I've, I'm absolutely one thousand percent sure I've broken it in two places, but we we'll just have to see what the X-ray results come back as. Yeah. Well, I was just saying, it's like, you know, gluing a breadstick back together after it's been in a blender. All right, you, you, will you spread the word for me, yeah? All right, cheers, mate. Wait. Oh, God. What? The vicar. What about? He has lost his head. Why? You have to see this. He's having a go at traffic warden. Fuck me. He's having a breakdown. What? I knew this day would come. He has genuinely lost it. He has lost his mind. i tell you what that is. What? Horn rage. What's horn rage? If a bloke doesn't get rid of his dirty water on a regular basis, you get horn rage. Me and Kirk used to get it. We used to smash car wing mirrors on the way home on a, after a night on the last we hadn't pulled. It's worse for the vicar as well, because he's got massive nuts. <sighs> the vicar, right? He'll have you believe he is all sweetness and light. But in reality, he can really lose his shit. Yeah, like this one time, he drove me and Curtin to Burford Wildlife Park, <laughs> and Curtin just looked in the vicar's ear and went, "Uh, wax cave. Yeah, and the vicar was so furious, he literally picked up a road atlas and whacked Curtin with it. And Curtin phoned the police. He was assault. Mm. Oh, I cannot believe that. What? Soph and her new boyfriend became friends on Facebook when I was still going out with her. That is... That tells you everything, doesn't it? Guys, he was trying to worm his way in from then. Shit. What? What a snake in the grass. That is... I swear to God, if I see him here again, I swear to God, I will have no hesitation in just going up to him, just planting one on his face. I, really? I will, honestly, I will tear his head off. Yeah. Don't even care. Don't care at all. Excuse me? What? Could you keep it down, please? <laughs> Sorry, do you work here? No. Right, then keep your nose out of my business, yeah? Nosy old cock womble. <sighs> she absolutely lives. Kerry Mutko. Yes. Hi, oh. Kerry. We're going to take you down for x ray now. Okay. All right, take yeah. your time. Okay. I'll give you a hand. Up you go. That's, yeah, quick as you can, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Be quick. Take your time. Mm -hmm. Oi, Kurt. All right, man. You've been rude to my mum. The problem with living in a village like this is that you're always bumping into the local nut jobs. No one knows where they stand with Mandy because she's so unpredictable. You've been rude to my mum. No. Oh, my mum's a liar then, is she? No. So you have been rude to my mum? Yeah, no. I f oh, it's just, it's just about keeping it down. Yeah, well, she's crying her eyes out out there. Mm. So I ain't leaving here until you tell me, word by word, what you just said to my mum. Oh, I, was, I was just chatting. Yeah? Quietly. She said you was chatting loudly. Well, could have been, I suppose. OK, well, well, which one was it then? Quietly or loudly? Loudly. Go on. And then I, I just said, oh, sorry, do you, do you work here? Because I thought maybe she might be one of the what nurses. She, she, she didn't really say anything. She just walked off and that was that, really. And just, mm, mm. Mm. I think you might be missing something. Don't think, no, don't think so. No? That was it, yeah. Yeah? Mm. Yeah, no. I think you might have said something else. Well, I, I can't remember what I said now. Oh, so you did say something else? Yeah. What did you say, Curtin? And I want it word by word. I called her. Yeah. A nosy. Yeah. Old. Yeah. Cock. Yeah. Womble.
Yeah, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I'm just joking. That's not really my mum. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Wait, that, was, that wasn't your mum? No, I just heard that nosy old cop Womble complaining about your reception. I thought it was funny. I thought, I know what I'll do. I'm going to go in there and wind him up, have a laugh with him. <laughs> uh. What do you have? Hey? What do you have for your supper? Oh, uh, just steak and chips, I think. Oh, I love me steak, I do. Me I too. absolutely love, I love steak. Yeah. It's my favourite, actually. Then you better get back, or you'll miss yours. Miss, miss my what? Miss your supper. I don't have any supper. Does your mum not cook for you? What will you eat? Oh, I suppose I see what's left in the bin. Probably just eat that. Would you like to stay for supper, Gary? Is that all right? Of course. Do stay for supper. All right, yeah. Can I give you a hand, Florence? No, I'm fine. The Simpsons are on next. Oogly doogly. Is falafel. Oh, I just mushed up chickpeas. What chickpeas? Uh, peas that taste like shit, basically. Oh, I was fishing. Brilliant, but I am hanging out my ass today. Why? What happened? Oh, Jacob came. Yeah. Yeah. What's he like? He's great. Yeah. Really? We got absolutely battered. Yeah, he loves a party. And on the way back, we just stood on the bridge over a dual carriageway and we we're just pissing on cars. Oh, I want to piss on cars. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he has some amazing stories about the vicar as well. Like what? Oh, the vicar, right, was in the Christian boy band in the 80s. No way. Yeah, called The Nice Guys. You are joking me. Nope. The Nice Guys? Yeah. What did you do in the band? Lead singer. Lead singer? Yeah. And he had hair as well, apparently. You had hair? Yeah. Imagine that. I just can't imagine the vicar not being bold. Mm. Florence, that was just beautiful. Oh, really beautiful. Good. Glad you liked it. Mm. Mm. Not going to let you go hungry, you know, Kerry. Mm. Uh. I love tea talk. Yeah, Florence is just an absolute dream. I mean, it was a bit sad because her cat died recently. But I think me being here has just cheered her up tenfold. That was him, look. That's the cat. His name was Tudor, look. Feel the weight of that. Feel the weight of that, honestly. That's how fucking big he was. Ate himself into physical decay. Yeah, that's how I want to go. Yeah. Kerry gets very jealous whenever I talk about Tudor. So I'm just trying not to mention him at all. So you see him. Jacob got wrecked again last night. Did he? Yeah, he's an absolute wreckhead. Shit. Just wandered off on his own. Came back with some homeless guy, trying to get me to take him back to my nan's to give him a bath. Oh, you know, they ended up having a fight later on, got kicked out of the fucking fishing club. He's a total liability. What does the vicar know? No. He thinks he's on the straight and narrow. Well, you've got to tell the vicar. Well.
Whoa. Florence probably just making it up to get attention. Oh, is that so? Because I just spoke to Florence and you've been having double dinner. Just like your bloody father. Go around, do your business, get up, and go around to the next house for a second. Nothing for slops. Is that what you've been doing in the evenings, girl? Hmm? You told me you've, you've been running in the evenings, but that's not what you've been doing, is it? I know Kerry said I should tell the vicar about Jacob, but I just can't face it. I think the best thing I can do in this situation is just stay out of it. You know, it's, it's far bigger than what I can deal with. And the vicar's just so far in his own bloody dream world, he's dancing with a minotaur on a cruise ship, heading straight for dinner. What the fuck's that? Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck. Jacob! Sorry, mate, sorry. Sit down, mate. Let's get a kebab in it. No, you can't do it. This is a marketplace. Kebab! What are you doing? That's a bin, mate. Oh, fucking hell. Hello? Hi, Vicar. Yeah, it's Curtin. Yeah, I, I'm... It's <laughs> Jacob, really. Um... Yeah, yeah. I'm... That's right. He's been drinking, yeah. Oh, God. All right. Jacob. Hello. Jacob, it's all right. Yeah, Come yeah, on. yeah, I'm good. Come on, we're going to get you home. Yeah, yes, yeah. it's a yeah, I'm, I'm... difficult situation. I suppose I was in denial, and I didn't realise I was doing more damage to my son than good. Do be harsh on yourself. No, I, I feel like being harsh on myself. Sometimes uh, it has to be bad be good again, you know. My trousers are falling down. My trousers are falling down. Right. That's all right. Yeah. No one's looking. Oh dear. Thank you, Curtin. Thank you for being a friend to me and a friend to Jacob. Oh, it's a pleasure. That's what I do. And thank you for whatever it is you do. Because I still don't really know. Shall I get Curtin on? Yeah. Biscuits? Oh, yes, please. Yeah? Excuse us. Thank you. Come on, then. Let's get you inside. Out the rain. Oh! What? I know what it is. What? Don't worry, I like surprise. For what? You know what. Okay, you don't think we're organising a surprise party for I you? I knew it. No, no, because we're actually not. You mustn't get your hopes up, because it's not a surprise party. That's what my dad told you to say. <laughs> no care. Don't, don't wind me up, because it, it's, it's not a surprise party. You need to understand that, yeah? Listen to me. No fucking party. Fine. No, no party. Right. Come on. I've got a packet of Rolos in my pocket as well. I'll Have give, you? I'll give you one every 50 yards. How about that? That's a nice little incentive for the donkey, isn't it? Yeah, all right. That's it. You're a good girl. Yeah. We better be careful, Curtin. Why? All that over there is fox twins' territory. Oh, no, because they only ever stay in those woods. And we're, we're going round, so we won't we not a chance of bumping into them, really. All right. Everyone in the village knows about the fox twins. Basically, over, over the years, there's been sightings in the woods of these two feral-like men um, who walk on their knuckles on all fours. And witnesses say, uh, they communicate to each other in their own language, which sounds like fox calls. And uh, whenever livestock goes missing in the farms around the village, they're usually blamed. And no one knows how they got here either. Yes, it's a fun story to hear down the pub in front of a roaring fire of an evening, and it's 
it's funny how this kind of shared folklore can bring people together in a strange sort of way. But uh, do I believe in it? Absolutely not. I've seen him. I've seen him with my own eyes, me and Tyson. He was out in the woods early one morning and we seen him hunched over eating what looked like some sort of an animal carcass. Couldn't believe it. It's terrifying. And then, in exactly the same spot, at exactly the same time, a week later, I saw an alien. My theory is that some dirty bastard shagged a fox and that fox ended up giving birth to some sort of fucked up man fox twins. Um, there's actually only one dirty bastard I know around here that would shag a fox, and that's Len. I never done it with a fox. Morning. What the fuck? What? Stuck up git. So rude. What, that guy? Yeah, he just ignored me. Who doesn't say morning when someone says morning? Who doesn't say it back? That's just weird. That's rude. Oh, just let it go. It doesn't matter. Oh, look how sweet them sheep are. Hello. Uh-uh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ah. Just don't. Don't, don't. don't ever turn your back on them. Don't turn your back on the sheep. Carry on. Quick, 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 quick. Go, go, go. I've got your back. I've got your back. This is it. We're almost there. Right. Close your eyes. Three, two, one. Open! <laughs> there! Up there! Look! Oh, yeah! How good is that? It's great. It's really great. Happy birthday, Kerr. Thanks, Kurtz. Oh, my God, what is that? What is that? What? There, look. There. I don't know. Is that like a tent or something? Shout, shout hello. Hello. Hello? Oh my Jesus Christ. What? what is it? Oh my God. What? Christ what? alive. It's just a great big dump in the middle of a tent. That's. That's just a badger shit in there. A badger? Yeah. Oh, okay. So a badger is just walking along, sees, sees a tent, goes, might as well have a shit in it, does his business, comes back out, zips it with his great big thumbs. Yeah, badger care. I know who's fucking done that. Who? Fox twins. Oh. I'm not scared of the fox twins. I just like to sit them down and ask them plainly, look, guys, what is going on? Because it's just gotten completely out of hand now. You know, stop walking on your knuckles, stand up straight, be the best version of you that you can be. Get a job, even. There's a trolley boy who works at Tesco's, you know, who may as well have been raised by wolves. If he can get a job, you guys can walk it. Honestly, this guy's forehead is so large, you could project a film onto it. And that, that's not me being harsh. He probably said that about himself. Isn't that right, Karen? Hmm? Nicholas. Toy boy? Yeah. Huge fucking head. Yes, there has been talk of strange goings on in the woods, ghost sightings and the like, but uh, they're never from particularly reliable sources. Oh, yeah, I believe in ghosts, all right. There's one in there. I live with the ghosts. There's a ghost in that house. He's like um, a Civil War cavalier with all the hair and the hat and all that. And uh, every time I walk in the living room, he doffs his cap. 
And on his shoulder, he's got this crow that barks at me. It means I spend less time in the house, really. Not because of him, because he, he's, he's quite peaceable. But the crow is malevolent. And I'm not having that. I can't share my house with a malevolent bird. No way, I ain't walking through there. Why? Why? Look at it. What's wrong with it? It's just, it would literally be a 20 second sprint. That's haunted as fuck. Am I going mad here? Or does that to you look like that's where just ghosts would hang out all the time. Let's well, either walk through there or walk up that. Up to you. Oh, I just walked down there. Right. This is it. This is the bowls club. My empire. And meet Colin, he's our newest member, ain't you? Been here for a couple of weeks, he's getting picked on first week, weren't you? A little bit. But, um, yeah, you're settling in well, all right? Yeah, a couple of the older members have been nasty, but we stamped that out. All right, gents, you good? I've been working here since last month. There's a job going here, and the vicar made me apply for it. And at first, I was like, fuck this, because it's full of old stinkers. But actually, they're all right once you get to know them. As long as you don't mention foreigners or self-service checkouts, because they really don't like either of those things. And they will make sure they let you know about that. All right, girls, you're behaving yourselves. Yeah. Yeah, and the empties? Well, hands off, Wendy. Don't think half would be happy if you saw her. Talk of a devil. Use it, Arthur. Yeah. I'm enjoying it, actually. Uh, I, I really didn't think I would, but, yeah, it's going really well. So don't tell my dad I showed you this, yeah? But this is what I've been storing here. Well... About a week ago, right, my dad sat me down and he said, Kerr, how do you fancy going into business with your old man? Like, renting a lock-up out and letting me store my wares in it. And I just, like... I thought I was going to cry, but it wasn't because I was sad. It was because my whole life I've been telling people, one day me and my dad will go into business together. And people were like, Kerry, it's never going to happen. You know, get your head out of the clouds. This is getting absolutely heartbreaking now. But I just knew in my heart, and I never let go of that. So my dad's got a mate called Spud, who works in a Dyson factory, and all of these were going to get thrown out. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with them, see? They're all tip top. So my dad basically takes them off his hands for a small fee, and then I store them here, and then he sells them on for a higher fee. So just, you know, everyone's laughing. Such a small idea for a business. Oh, you see this guy here? Right. He had an action man surgically removed from his ass, no word of the lie. And he told the doctor, oh, as I was coming out of the bath, I slipped on the bath mat and I fell on it. And the doctor said, oh, that's funny, because why is there a condom on it then? And he just went like this. I mean, what can you say? Odd. Pretty tight this game now. This is Vickers go, so. Come on, Vix! This is it, son, you can do it. Oh, he's fucked it. Unlucky Vix! Yeah, he's he's absolutely fucked it there. Yeah. He's fucked it for the entire team. They won't come back from that now. So disappointing. If I had it my way, I'd just haul him off. Haul him off, wouldn't even talk to him. I am absolutely thrilled. He's doing so brilliantly well. He's, he's a different lad. He's responsible. He's in control. I think he's found his calling Victor. and everyone... Sorry, mate. You still got your bowl shoes on in the bar area. Oh. Oh, goodness me. I'm away with the fairies. Sorry. It's a bit annoying, actually, because it's not the first or second time I've had to tell you, really, is it? No, no. sorry, yeah. Curtin. It's all right, as you were. So, as you can see, I he's say very... Because, you know, people look up to you and if they see you doing it, they're going to they're gonna think it's all right for them to do it. And that's, you know, that's when it gets absolutely bloody bananas in here. Yeah, right. understood. As you work.
Anyone here lost a hearing aid? No? No one's going to claim it, it's going to go straight in the bin. Lost property, my policy is a 10 second rule. Right, in the bin it goes. If it's not claimed after 10 seconds, just dump it in there. Kerry's mum. What's she want? What have I done? Oh, fuck it, I'll answer anyway. Hello? Hello? You all right? Hello, can you hear me now? Well, you rang me. Yeah, what, what, what is it? Well, I just got a call from a policeman. Yeah. Oh shit. Why? Huh? Why? Uh, them, them and Martin, them, 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 oh, Martin. I said it was dodgy, didn't I? All right. Yeah, all right. Uh, I better go then. I better go then, Sue. No, I'm just saying I better go then. Yeah, the connection's bad. It's fine. OK. All right. Yeah, I'll let you go. All right. Hello? I can say I'm going to go. Oh, fuck it. I just... Fuck. Martin. Yeah, I said it. I said it from the start. It was dodgy. It just whiffed or dodgy. I bet... Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah? Hello? Yeah, you all right? Hello? Right, uh, yeah, fuck it. I got. I better go and call the vicar. Can you give me two seconds, yeah? Okay, <laughs> Kerry. Thanks for coming in. Um, just to confirm that you've been cautioned and are entitled to free legal advice, which you've declined. Can I ask why? Because I ain't doing anything wrong. Can I also say, as my human right, you have not asked me if I want a glass of water, and I am legally entitled to that as well. Okay. Would you like a glass of water? No. But thank you for asking me. That is correct conduct. OK. So, we have evidence to suggest that your father, Martin Mucklow, has been involved in the transportation and storage of stolen goods from a factory in Malmesbury. And it's our belief that he's been using you to store them in a lockup rented out in your name. No, because they ain't stolen. They're being thrown away. It's like, you know, you know the tea rooms in town where if they, like, can't sell all their paninis in the day, they just put it in a bin bag and they put it outside the shop for the homeless and foxes and sometimes badgers get in there. OK, Kerry, I need you to appreciate the, the, the significance of this situation, OK? Yeah, but also, have you ever seen the Raggy Dolls on CBBC? Yeah. Because that's very similar. It's like, if the dolls, if they're not in full working order, like their arms and their legs and that, they should have all their limbs, and these don't have their limbs, and so they get thrown away into a thing, and it, that's very similar to the Hoovers, because the Hoovers are very much like the dolls, because they also want to find loving homes. Look, I know you're trying to protect your dad, but you have to tell us the truth. I am telling the truth. My dad's not a criminal. When I think of Kerry Mucklow, I think of someone who is very loyal and very, very stupid. So, sort of more stupid than loyal. Sort of 70% Stupid, 30% loyal, probably. Because she's very loyal, but extremely stupid. <laughs>